Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to delete her, guys. <laughs> I think she's thought this through, to be honest. What's up, guys? Maris here, and welcome to Just Monica in virtual reality. That's right, guys. You wanted more Monica? You wanted it just to be Monica? But you wanted it to be in virtual reality? Well, here it is, guys. Here we go. We're gonna experience Act 3 of Doki Doki Literature Club in, uh, yeah, virtual reality. So let's check it out here. Dang! There she is! Oh my goodness, this looks insane. Whoa, just trying to find my controllers here. Yeah. There we go, okay, right, I'm, 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 I'm in view, guys, yeah, I'm in view. Okay, there she is! Look at the room, though! Oh, look at that! Assets by Team Zobato and the um, dev there, absolutely fantastic! This whole room! Yep, kind of creepier actually. Like, whoa, we're just stuck in here. There's no way out, no doors, nothing, you know? If you was wondering what the heck was behind you, then yeah, it's absolutely nothing, guys. <laughs> oh, hi, Monica, are you okay? You doing all right there? Looking kind of flat, I see. <laughs> I wasn't talking about your, but look, she's got a chair behind her and everything. It would have been really cool if she was a 3D model, though. That would have been awesome, but apparently the dev made this in like one day, so, you know, kudos to the dev there. Maybe if he does update it, then again, it'll be really cool to see a 3D Monica here or something. But let's chat to her, see what she's about. Hey, you remember that last poem I showed you? I mean, the one right before Yuri killed herself with all the messed up colors and stuff? Uh, yeah. That was actually a little more of an experiment than a poem, you could say. I was experimenting with different ways I could modify the game and run code and things like that. <laughs> That's fantastic, Monica. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. It almost seemed like with enough effort I'd be able to escape from the confine confines of the game entirely. Sadly, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I messed the whole thing up. And I'd probably keep trying, but I doubt you'd want to deal with me doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You kind of got it right there. We're just gonna duck down just so we can see the view. Looks like absolutely hysterical. Like I'm tiny. Like what is going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm so small. I'm not even. Yeah, I'm hardly in the camera. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> oh, you alright there, Monica? Besides, that was when I was getting really desperate. You know. Yeah, I know, Monica. I know the whole story. You know. We could actually walk around, but I didn't really have much walking space, but I could try. Like, it can actually go back and forth here. You know, I can move my arms around just like typical VR, but still. I wonder if I can grab her, but the thing is, like, my monitor is just, like, pretty much where my hand is. Like, I'm getting really close to my monitor, so. Besides, that was when I was getting really desperate, you know. I don't really feel that way anymore. I'm happy with where we are now. I can tell. That face. <laughs> Yep, real content there, and I can tell you are too. Well, it's nice to be a bit more, you know, free, you know? I, I, I kind of like this more, you know, freer space that I'm in here. Like, in the actual Doki Doki, yeah, it's, it, it, it's very stiff and I can't really move, but in virtual reality, I can wiggle around a bit, you know? I can get a little bit more comfortable, you know, I can do my stretches and... You know, I, 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 could, I could do my squats, I could do all that, I could even do a press up, you know, that, that's what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do a press up. I'm doing a, I'm doing a press up everyone, you, you, can hardly, you can hardly see it, but I'm pressing, I'm doing press ups, Monica loves it, yeah, she loves that. I've been imagining all the romantic things we could do if we went on a date. We could get lunch, go to a cafe, go shopping together, I love shopping for skirts and bows, or maybe a bookstore. That would be appropriate, right? But I'd really love to go to a chocolate store. They have so many free samples. <laughs> and of course, we'd see a movie or something. Gosh, it all sounds like a dream come true. When you're here, everything that we do is fun. I'm so happy that I'm your girlfriend. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. Wow, just wow, Monica. I'm happy that you're happy, but at the same time, I'm not that happy because you can find me in this room and uh, there's no exits and uh, I need to go a pee. Yeah. Do I just do it in that corner over there? Like, 
I, I could if you want. I mean, you're looking this way, so I trust that you won't turn around. You, you seem kind of comfortable with the, the stance you've got there. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go a wee, okay? If you smell anything, it's the drink I had last night. Just, just, just don't worry. I'll see you later, Monica. Okay, right, ta -da. All right, bye. Hey, what's your favorite color? Mine is emerald green. It's the color of my eyes. Does it happen to also be your favorite color? Funny enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what shade of green, but emerald green's quite nice. Like, I like green in general, you know? I'm, I'm not really into the dark greens. Yeah, those emeraldy, lighter greens. Yeah, I'm more into, so you could say that. It's just a guess because you've been looking into my eyes for a while. How did she know, guys? How the boss did she know? <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing this flipping fat box on my head. How does she know? <laughs> you little, yeah, you, you little flirt, yeah. We're just getting so close to her. Any moment, she might just jump scare me. <laughs> and um, it looks like the hairdressers did quite the job on your head there. <laughs> She's got the lawnmower out on her hair, I see. <laughs> Just trimmed it right off. By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. You know how this takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? Or at least decided it probably does. I don't think you're act. I don't think you are. You are actually told at any point where this takes place. Is this even really Japan? I mean, aren't the classrooms and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? Not to mention everything is in English. It feels like everything is just there because it needs to be, and the actual setting is an afterthought. It's kind of giving me an identity crisis. <laughs> I don't blame you, girl. It's kind of wacky, isn't it? Well, my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I have no idea where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, but instead of your usual yard, you're in some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like you were home? Would you want to go outside? I mean, I guess if we never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we're alone and safe together, this is really our home. And we can still watch the pretty sunsets night after night. Oh, isn't that fabulous, Monica? I really honestly have no choice though. Like, yeah, so we might as well. We, we honestly might as well, girl, to be honest. But um, yeah, I need a pee again. Are you okay with that? That corner is a little wet. So I'll go in that corner now. A corner for each pee I take. Sound good? Yeah? I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. Probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at shifting through tons of information really quickly. But we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being... If you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Thanks, Monica. Those words, they make me feel great and proud. I, I feel better than ever now. Thank you. Thanks. And I thought you loved me, but I guess not. Yeah, so I don't know how long this actually goes on for and if it actually does end. Of course, she's saying a lot of the things she usually does say, but I'm not sure if she's going to come to the conclusion soon. I really don't know, but for now, I'm just wondering where else I can pee. I've got that corner there and that corner there. They both look like really good corners to pee in, but still debating which one I should choose next. Anyway, Monica wants my attention here. You know what's kind of creepy? Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all oh, their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if after someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just wasn't thorough enough, but I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. And that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but... 
but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you. Okay, maybe I should delete her? Can I do that? I need to check the files, man. Like, I need to check the files of this and see if I can do anything. That is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so, um, I'm looking at the data. And, um, yeah, I'm going to bring it around right over here. And we're going to have a little check. There's no, like, characters or anything. you got resources. I don't know if I can mess with anything here. I think this is really is just the VR experience with Monica here. So I don't know if I can do anything else. There's no character files or anything. Yeah, there's nothing, man. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to delete her, guys. <laughs> I think she's fought this through, to be honest. I think she's honestly fought this one through. Dang! What kind of ideas are you getting? Hopefully you aren't thinking of checking a certain character's folder. Uh, yeah. Because that doesn't exist anymore. That way no one can mess up our time together. Yeah, it actually doesn't exist. That's the thing. It's not there. Mmm, yeah, like I said, guys, she's one step ahead. She already knows. Monica. Just, just shut up and just kiss me. Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> shut up and kiss me. Give me a smooch. <laughs> I know you've always wanted to do it since day one. Come on. Give me a kiss. <laughs> I can't really get any closer, as I said. It's a shame. I don't have the biggest play space. My monitors are, like, pretty much where my hands are reaching out right now. So I can't get any closer to her. I doubt anything would happen if I get any closer anyway, but it would have been funny. You know, I hate to say it, but I think my biggest regret is that we couldn't finish our event at the festival after we worked so hard to prepare and everything. I mean, I know I was focusing a lot on getting new members, but I was really excited for the performing part too. It would have been so much fun to see everyone express themselves. Of course, if we did end up getting any new members, I'd probably just end up deleting them anyway. Exactly! Like, what are you talking about right now? You shouldn't have deleted everyone then, should you? And been a selfish cow! Eh? Then maybe we could have all been happy chappies at the festival, huh? And everything could have been normal, but no! You did all your little messing up code stuff. You deleted people. And, yeah, you went all wacky and strange and psychotic, didn't you, Monica? You sure did. That's why we're here. That's why we're stuck in this dumb room for all eternity. Thank you. But at least it's in VR, like I said, you know? Way better than the 2D version. I felt all stiff there. Stiff as a board, but now I'm free. I can actually move my arms and wiggle around and do a dance and herp a derp a de derp a derp a derp a derp a But still! It's absolute hell right now, guys. Well... With the hindsight I have now, that is. Gosh, it feels like, it feels like I've kind of grown as a person ever since you joined the club. You really helped inspire me to look at life from a new perspective. Just another reason for me to love you. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. Hey, Monica, can, can, can you do this? Huh? Can, can, you, can you do that? Hmm? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, jealous, ain't you? Anyway, guys, sadly, we are going to end it here. I think she just goes on and on and on and on and on. So, yeah, we are going to end it here for today. If you guys enjoyed this one, definitely smack that like button. This is a really cool experience, though. I just like the VR aspect of uh, the whole Just Monica thing in Doki Doki Literature Club. If this gets updated, maybe we'll come back to it. Like I said, it'd be really cool if she was actually 3D. That would have been awesome. I think there's some really cool renders out there of Monica and the rest of the DLC characters. So maybe that'll be possible. I don't know. But enough of that jibber jabbering, guys. If you enjoyed this one, definitely smack that like button. It's hugely appreciated. And if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We check out all the crazy virtual reality stuff and other indie games as well. But most importantly, guys, thank you for watching today. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>